Hello friends, my name is Kalpesh and welcome to my YouTube channel Automotive Crux. In this video, I am going to discuss about the pressure distribution over the vehicle's body in context with the vehicle aerodynamics. Study of the pressure distribution over the vehicle body plays a significant role while designing a body of any vehicle. Aerodynamic drag which is, which is resisting force for vehicle's motion can be estimated once we have the data for the pressure distribution over the body. Before we jump into the main segment, first we need to understand types of boundary layer which are relevant to the aerodynamic study. So let's discuss the types of boundary layer. In context with the vehicle aerodynamics, we need to understand two types of boundary layer. The detailed discussion about the boundary layer that I have already done in my previous video. If you haven't visited yet, I'm requesting to visit once. The link for that video is given into the description below. So click on it and enjoy it. Laminar and the turbulent boundary layer. These two types of boundary layer, it depends on the velocity of moving fluid. First, we will discuss about the laminar boundary layer. In laminar boundary layer, we can observe in this figure that the sub layers, sub layers of moving fluid, they are sliding on each other, and due to the less, due to low velocity, the only resistive force they are facing it is the friction generated by the adjacent sliding layer. This type of boundary layer they are known as a laminar boundary layer and uh, we we are aware with the uh, boundary layer thickness the thickness of the boundary layer that means it is the distance at which we are getting the velocity of moving fluid equals to the free stream velocity uh, from the surface it is known as a thickness of boundary layer now in case of a turbulent boundary layer we can observe in this figure turbulent boundary layer it is generated due to the high velocity as the velocity of moving fluid is it is quite high the moving particles moving sub layers they breaks into the small small layers and that and those layers they are uh, trying to resist the movement movement of the adjacent layers and due to this resistance the movement of all sub layers within the boundary layer they becomes random but still the movement of this random uh, boundary layers they are in the direction of moving fluid so this is about the uh, turbulent boundary layer as i said in this uh, previous slide uh, kindly uh, requesting to visit this video the link for the same is provided in into the description below okay you will get uh, the knowledge about the boundary layer thickness venturi uh, air streamlines apart from this i would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe this channel if you have any queries you can write into the comment section and please i'm requesting again to subscribe this channel and share with your friends so they will get benefited relative air speed and the pressure condition over the body this phenomena we can understand with the help of this figure in this figure we considered a sedan car which is which is moving in this direction we considered air as a stationary element uh, while doing a wind tunnel testing to estimate the uh, pressure distribution over the body for any vehicle we need to consider vehicle as a stationary and we are blowing air at certain velocity over the body to understand the vehicle aerodynamics so in this figure you can uh, you can observe that the uh, surface of the bonnet and the front wind screen and the surface of rear rear sc screen and the rear boot this surface the surfaces they are creating a converging and diverging section with the outermost high pressurized air streamline here we are getting the converging section and here we are getting the diverging section thus when a vehicle is approaching 
to the stationary air at this point we have a high pressure and low speed of air particles and as our car approaches ahead these particles they are forced to go through the converging section as we have seen in as i have explained you in my previous video when fluid particles approaches the converging section the pressure decreases and velocity it starts increasing so here the fluid flow is in accelerating mode then this air particles they enters to the throat section which is the narrowest section of the complete phenomena here we are we can get the lowest pressure and highest speed of moving particles then this as the vehicle is moving ahead this particles they are approaching to the diverging section and at diverging section section due to the increase in the cross sectional area the speed of the air particle moving air particles start decreasing and the flow it is in decelerating mode so at this point again we have a high pressure low speed flow this is what happened with the pressure over the body when vehicle approaches when vehicle is moving into the atmospheric air this phenomena we can understand with the help of uh, pressure diagram 2 in this figure we can observe the pressure distribution over and underneath the car uh, plotted with some uh, laboratory testing data the pressure over the rear half of the bonnet to the mid front fin skin region where the air stream is lower is positive okay we can observe this in this figure 2 the pressure in between this two in this section okay mid of the rear bonnet and the front windscreen mid of the windscreen we are observing the highest positive pressure likewise the pressure over the mid position of the rear windscreen and the rear end of the boot where the air stream speed has been reduced is also positive here we can observe so in both cases where the air stream velocity is slower comparatively in both cases we are getting the uh, positive pressure coefficient contrary the pressure over the front region of the bonnet and the particularly over the windscreen leading edge and the horizontal roof area where the air stream speed is at its highest has a negative pressure coefficient here as we have seen in the earlier slide at this point due to the converging section the moving fluid is, it is in accelerating mode so at throat portion we can assume that we can consider the highest speed of the moving fluid and we can observe that at this section at this section we can observe the negative pressure coefficient for the cow pressure over the body this is the negative pressure coefficient when considering the air movement underneath the car body the restricted air stream flow tends to speed up the air movement thereby producing a slight negative pressure distribution along the whole underside of the car that means in this section in this case we can consider the constant uh, restricted area uh, and due to that restriction restricted area the flow underneath the body it is throughout in the accelerating mode and this uh, velocity will be a constant high velocity and that's why we can observe the uh, negative loop for the underneath ne negative loop for the pressure coefficient for the uh the actual pattern of the pressure distribution above and below the body will be greatly influenced by the car's profile style the car the vehicle's speed and the direction and the intensity of the wind these are the effecting parameters we can say thank you thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on the bell button so you will get notification whenever i upload uh any stuff on my channel thank you thank you so much